What's up YouTube? It's Zap Those TCG here and thanks again for watching our TCG battle video on my channel. Today we're gonna play with the first place winning list of the Memphis Regional. Daniel Alta Villa made first place out of 788 masters, so that was a very big regionals in America. And today we are going to check out the first place winning list. It's going to be a Malamar variant. Believe it or not, this is uh, one of the best decks in format right now. There's a lot of Malamars everywhere. Also, Zoroark is still uh yeah, just running around loose, and Boswell actually made a comeback. So this deck is even better because of course we hit weakness against Boswell. So yeah, first place winning list, we are gonna explore the list and then we're gonna play a couple of rounds with it to see how it functions. So of course Malamar is the star of the deck, there's a 4-4 line of Malamar in here, we have the Psychic Recharge. Uh, once during our turn we can just uh, put one energy from our discard pile, one Psychic energy uh, as a matter of fact, and we can just put that to one of our bench Pokemon. We have a ton of Psychic Attackers to work with. We have, of course, Deoxys. We have Psychic, uh, 20 damage plus 20 more for uh, the amount of energies attached to the opponent's active Pokemon. Now we have Power Blast, dealing a flat of 120. Now we discard an energy. Not bad, since we are able to recuperate that energy thanks to the uh, Psychic Recharge. Then, of course, we also have the Dawn Wings flying into the active position from time to time with the ability Invasion. It also comes back with Moons Eclipse, GXs for behind and prize cards, 180, and then we come be become invincible with Dawn Wings for one turn, and then Dark Flash, 120. Mars Shadow is in here. Why is that? Because this uh, is the only Pokemon in our deck that is capable of destroying Zoroarks with ease. We don't need a lot of energies. I'm gonna explain here. We have Necrozma GX, which can just one-shot everything. It deals 10 damage plus uh, 60 more for every Psychic Energy we decide to discard with Prism Prismatic Burst. Actually, we have to discard all of them. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, a matter of uh, how many energies we get onto Necrozma GX. But with Malamar, uh, uh, you can just get energies onto Mars Shadow as well and copy the attack. So we hit for weakness, so we don't need that much energy. So two copies of Mars Shadow here just to destroy uh, Zoroax or everything that is weak to fighting. We also have a couple of tech cards in here. We have Mimikyu being able to copy every single attack that the opponent throws at us except for GX moves. So uh, let's say the opponent uses a Nature's Judgment. Uh, that is uh, one of those uh, attacks that Tapu Bulu uses. Well, we can just copy that or maybe how about a Meteor Champest can also copy that. Next. This is kind of a, a broken card right now. Everybody's running Mars Shadow because you can steal games with Mars Shadow. Let's say you uh, just win the coin flip, you go first, bang, you uh, throw down a Mars Shadow and uh, sometimes the opponent will brick and you can just win the game right there. That is uh, very interesting. Also in the late game, you can just use our Mars Shadow to just uh, disrupt your opponent and we can easily search it out easily because we have Mysterious Treasure. We also have Ultra Ball, four of those. We have Friend Ball, believe it or not, it's good. Friend Ball is uh, just search your uh, deck for a Pokemon that uh, yeah, the opponent also has on their field and uh, most of the times everybody relies on Tapu Lele so with Friend Ball you can get all your psychic shenanigans out. We even have more shenanigans to work with, we have Oracorio. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench you may search your deck for two basic energy cards, reveal them and put them in your hand. So the strategy is very simple, use this early game uh, and just get your energies in the, into play, use Ultra Ball or Mysterious Treasure getting those energies in the discard pile and then get Molomor out to just uh, yeah, use Psychic Recharge to get those energies back. Uh, what else do we are missing here? We have Chimeco. This is a well from Crimson Invasion. Believe it or not, it's very good. Battle of Silence. I definitely thought this uh, everybody would uh, just hype about this card, but it didn't see any play. But now it's here. Battle of Silence deals 10 damage, and your opponent can cannot play uh, any Pokemon that has an ability down from their hand during their next turn. Can you imagine a Mars Shadow play and then getting out Chimeco so they're stuck? They cannot even rely on Tapu Lele. That's hilarious. So Chimeco is in here as well. And then, of course, we're gonna have the same strategy, Guzma, Cynthia, Lily. There's four Lilies in here because this deck is insanely powerful with a first turn Lily. And uh, there's four Skateboard because, uh, yeah, you have a lot of one prize, uh, actually one Retreaters. We have Oracorio, we have Inke, we have Deoxys, we have Chimeco. We have, actually, everything has a one Retreat because even Mars Shadow, uh, all the Mars Shadow. So, yeah, definitely getting that Skateboard onto uh, and this deck is just fantastic. So. Uh, after the explanation, let's go into some matches because you probably want to see how Daniel pulled it off. Well, I'm hopefully gonna get up some uh, yeah, good strategies going on here. Necrozma GX Malamar. It's been around for quite a while, but uh, it's still top cutting and it's probably, it's actually considered to be one of the best, if not the best deck in the format. Right up, followed by Boswell variants. We have Zoroark variants and then of course Rayquaza is also doing very well at the moment. Metal Dex is kind of like a tier 2 deck. We have of course Dursmane, Magnazone, uh, Metagross variants. That is also kind of viable but they don't uh, win any tournament. Like uh, first place winning list. That is uh, something that hasn't happened before if I recall. Uh, we can go first which is awesome. Let's get our little good friends. Inke is out. The squids are ready. We start with nothing at all and our strategy is already revealed. Can you believe that? The opponent is going to say, oh yeah, it's a Molomar version. Oh well, 
nothing we can do about that. The, the opponent will get a mulligan and the opponent has very nice sleeves. And it looks like he's getting two mulligans. Actually, she's getting two mulligans. Or actually, no, we have the Dongs in hand. I should have seen that. Anyhow, we have Mysterious Treasure, which is awesome to start with. We also have an escape board going on. We have an acro bike, so we might get this going. We can even like, smack down a first turn Marshadow here. Okay, Boswell is in our path. The thing I like to do here is use Mysterious Treasure, getting a red of an energy immediately, and getting ourselves a good NK. Yeah, NK is the best uh, way of uh, action here. We also have Marshadow in the deck. There's uh, one energy prize, we can live with that. There's an escape board prize. What else might possibly be prized? Let's count the Guzma counts because this deck only runs two Guzma, or actually three Guzma, so there's a Lily prize. Um, yeah, no, nothing important seems to be prized here, so let's get our little Inky out. There he is. Let's smack down the escape board on. I'm gonna wait with the escape board, just gonna check with the Acrobike what we've managed to get. We got a Deoxys. I yeah, I wanted Deoxys. Deoxys is great against the Boswell variant, so let's smack that down. We're also gonna give an escape board to... Do we give it to the Dawnwings? He's kinda stuck in the active. We only need one energy and that, so let's get the escape board right there. And again, we have more escape boards to uh, go around, so no problem right there. We have an Acrobike and an energy. We can give an energy and manually retreat. First things first. Let's use the Acrobike, and <laughs> wow, that is a fantastic Acrobike, love that. Okay, there's an energy in the discard, we already have an energy right here, let's give an energy to the Dawnwings. Although, we could also Guzma things out, so for now, Malamar, attach to the turn, some kind of Guzma shenanigans, could work. So I'm going to put it on the Deoxys, and we're going to wait and see how this uh, turns out. We only have one NK so far, so that is not the best uh, opening turn. But at least we have our Deoxys ready. Deoxys can now use Psychic, and uh, with Psychic we're gonna be easily getting rid of that Boswell here. Baby Boswell is kind of powerful. Okay, Guzma, liking the part of that. Although, Beast Energy right away. <laughs> wow. Wow, first turn Beast Energy? You don't see that every day, or in every game, I guess. So, uh, for now, let's get our Deoxys out. He'll have to two-shot for now. Unfortunately, but at least we can get some more Pokemon out. Let's get, uh, yeah, our Molomar is now uh, not that useful. Let's get rid of our Lily and let's get rid of uh, Friend Ball. He's not gonna get out any Psychic types anytime soon. So let's get an NK out. All our Molomars are in there. How many Rescue Stretchers? Yeah, two of them. So I'm not even afraid too much. The bad thing is that we cannot one-shot this Deox, so we're just gonna have to rely on Cynthia. Good. Hopefully we can get some more NKs because Guzma plays will be kind of huge. We get another NK. And believe it or not, we can get out another NK. Do we actually need more than that? He can always use that Jax move of the Dangerous Rogue. Uh, for now, I am wary here. He's definitely gonna try and use some Guzma shenanigans, but he... Do we get out another NK here? Our Lele? Did I check if our Lele is priced? Should have seen that. Hmm. I'm gonna wait and wait it off. We're just gonna go with the Psychic and see how we go from there. So Psychic is uh, easily going to be able to uh, inflict a huge amount of damage. That's 80 damage. And that is just uh, amazing to two-shot Deoxys here. He will never ever one-shot this Deoxys because he needs a ton of stuff. He's going to rely on one prize attackers. Is he going to evolve to Lycanroc? That's okay, Acer Walla is going to get this combo rolling. He is going to get out another Boswell. The good news is, we can uh, get an energy onto the Deoxys and that will mean a one hit KO. So it doesn't even matter too much if he decides to go for Acer Rolla. We are gonna survive this hit. So now that we survived the hit, the Molomars are ready to strike. So let's get them out while we possibly can. Getting out two Molomars. We are also gonna get one energy on... Actually, we can use Invasion, Retreat, getting more energies in here than we possibly can. Hmm. Okay. Invasion plays are kind of cool though. Hmm, don't even mind too much about that play. So I'm gonna get rid of one Guzma. We still have two left and I want to rely on Lily here. We also have more Pokemon to work with. We have the Necrozma that we can get out or we can march out of the opponent. But it looks like if he's relying on Acer Rolla, he must be dead drawing. So the only possible solution for us right now is to getting out another NK. I think that's a good idea. Necrozma is also in the deck, so if we use Lily, we can easily get it out. We just set a lot of Ultra Ball, Nazbal and stuff ready. So let's get out another NK. 
And with this NK, if we add a third Malamar, it's going to be fantastic. Let's get this energy over there and use a Lily. So hopefully the Malamar uh, stuff will be working out in our favor. We can use uh, the Psychic Recharge. Our Deoxys might hit the discard, but I don't mind about that at all. We can also get out the Necrozma. Skateboard, let's get this rolling. Escape rope. Nah. Don't even mind getting rid of another energy since we can use the... Yeah, he might evolve, but he needs two energy. So the best plan of action is getting something prepped here. We still have a lot of energies left here. Let's get energies onto there. We are behind in prize cards, so if he comes swinging with something, don't even mind at all. We can use invasion. There's a lot of plays I can do actually. You can use Marshadow still, but I'm gonna leave that a mysterious treasure for later. So for now, we're just gonna go in with the Power Blast. There we go. One hit KO. Boswell is going down. So the best plan of action for the opponent to hit another 60 would be relying on Kukui and of course a Diancy Prism Star. If he can get it off, we get to see the discard, but then Dongs flies in. It's going to be fantastic. So the opponent is dead, right? Field Blower getting rid of the escape board. Not that we mind too much. We have another one in the hand. And uh, with the uh, Oracorio, we can grab some energies if we need them. So an energy coming onto that Rock Ruff. Choice Band. And he's going for a Judge. This Judge is actually interesting. The good news is our Tapu Lele is still in our deck, which means we can just target that Rock Ruff immediately. And we even top deck a Kuzma out of that Judge. So, he just passes the turn, we're not afraid at all, he's probably gonna concede uh, very soon. We're just gonna get one energy onto the... Yeah, I think that's a good plan. We can Guzma out the uh, Rock Ruff or Deoxys. I think Invasion plays is kind of better. How many... We still have one energy left and uh, let's just do it like this. We're gonna use Invasion first. Because we want our Deoxys to take this knockout and not our Dawnwing, so we can save our Dawnwing. So here we go with another Psychic Recharge, getting that energy onto Deoxys. And now we can safely just target that little Rock Ruff with our amazing Deoxys. Deoxys is just so amazing in this deck, I think it's awesome. Uh, yeah, we can even use Ultra Ball, Marsh Shadow, whatever, we don't need it. We're gonna go with Power Blast, BAM! Another KO. So that's how Molomar variants are just so powerful. Maybe I should run this deck at my next D-Cup, so I can actually get some more points. Hmm. But I don't have two Marshadows. Do we even need a Marshadow? Is everybody playing Zorwark? Who knows? I don't know. Maybe I can play with one uh, Marshadow. I think that's lit. Definitely gonna make that uh, tomorrow uh, in real life so I can test with it properly against some friends but yeah this list is lo looking to be very powerful so daniel big uh shout out to you for winning the entire memphis regionals looks like uh yeah this list just got the better of the fighting types a lot of boswell a lot of shrines so uh you just have a good chance of uh, hitting great matchups although you have to be careful of some weavals because you do rely on a lot of abilities but if you come across weavals stick to only two molomars that is a yeah a tip of the day cynthia is coming along I like the username, Champion N, and here comes the Beast Ring. Wow, interesting. So I think I want to target the Tapu Lele next, so we can get two prize cards, become invincible, and then we'll take it from there. That way his Beast Rings are deactivated, and it's going to be fantastic. So Sledgehammer getting the KO here. We still have a Mysterious Treasure. That Mysterious Treasure will go straight onto a Lele, so let's just promote this uh, Molomar. We can even use uh, the Deoxys once again, so we're just gonna use the Mysterious Treasure, getting rid of an Ultra Ball. We don't want to get rid of a lot of cards, so Ultra Ball is the best plan of action here. Let's get ourselves the Tapu Lele. We still have two Guzma left, or actually one Guzma, I threw away one, and I used one. So Tapu Lele for the Guzma. Actually, do we do that? Now that I think about it, we are not behind in prize cards. But we can get out in the crows, my GX, that we gotta get a big one hit KO. Although we don't have an energy to work with. Wow, wow, wow. Maybe that was a kind of a misplay, now that I think about it. Okay. Do we get the Guzma right now? Maybe a Marshadow play would be fantastic. We are kind of stuck. But this boss ball won't be doing a lot of damage, so I think getting the Diancy is also kind of a great strategy right now. 
Wow, that was kind of a misplay. I should have realized we're at the equal price card right now. So now that I know what I'm doing wrong, we are gonna get another... Hmm, do we get the Deoxys and 3 energies and then target the Deancy? He doesn't have any energies in play. We could do that, but I want to save my Guzman now that I made this huge misplay. We only need one energy under the Malamar and an escape board to do some stuff. Okay, should be able to do it. Mars Shadow over here, skateboards, two of them there. I'm gonna go for a risky play. We have three Mullen Mars right now, that is good. We can use Invasion regardless, but I wanted to do something else here. I wanted to KO that uh, Tapu Lele, but now we just bench the Lele for the means of it. Not that we mind too much. Oh well. Still have a lot of options left. Let's just go with the Invasion, swing into the active position. And we're also gonna slap down that Marshadow just so he has only has oh actually she only has four cards. Also gonna give an escape board to yeah to the active. Don't even mind too much about all the rest. So with the Marshadow down, the opponent will only have four cards left in the hand. This Dongwings will take this KO. He still has access to B string. I would have wished uh, I uh, actually got a Necrozma out so I could have used Guzma on that Tapu Lele. We're also gonna use the uh, Psychic Recharge here. One time on um, maybe on all the Molomar so we can have easily free retreat. Here we go. Don't think he's gonna take a knockout. We have Guzma to take the other one so. Let's spread around the energies. I don't know if that's the best correct play, but at least we can get out of the active position with a lot of our Pokemon. Here we go, Dark Flash, KO. And we still have Oracorio that we can get out to get more energies. Deoxys is here. So our play right now is Guzma retreating with the Lele, targeting the Diancy or maybe the Rock Ruff. We are just in so much dominant uh, and the dominant position here that the opponent will not be able to keep up. Oh, hello Boswell. I love seeing Boswell right now. Fancy is in play. He still needs his choice band in order to hit the one hit KO. Or a Kukui, but his Lelia is stuck. And if he uses Guzma, our Dawnwings goes to the bench. He has been Marshadow. He doesn't have all those cards in the hand. Probably gonna rely on Cynthia and hope he has a B-string. But I know these lists only run two B-strings, so we're getting good on that department. We can Guzma that Boswell out later and finish, or actually sweep the rest later with Necrozma. Cynthia, hello. Six energies in play, which means only four left in the deck. Ooh. Maybe I should have waited with a Psychic Recharge now that I think about it. I think that is the better play. I'm not a professional Molomar player, but now that I realized what I did, I wanted to have them in the discard. Although if he doesn't knock something out, we're definitely in the and the win position regardless, so I think it's kind of okay. Only this guy has a two retreat cost, but we have a skateboard. Skateboard and energy can also get this guy out. Energy to the boss wall, and I don't think he has a, a B string, so that means this is going to be a KO. And uh, we're gonna for win the first game, so no, Cynthia is coming, coming along. Does he have a B string? Or actually, C has a B string. Hope so. If he doesn't, it's gonna be painful. Don't see any McCargo or Slugma, so this is a different build, or they're just prized or whatever. The bench is already full. So our play has already been laid out. We retreat with Tapu Lele, Gozma out, that boss will get two prize cards for that, and then, uh, yeah, hopefully he gets a KO so we can just bench another powerful attacker to get the last KOs. Although Tapu Lele with a bunch of energy stacked onto there can also work. I wonder what the opponent will do. Right now, we already use a lot of item cards, so against um, the Garbodor variants, uh, it's going to be very difficult. Although, we can also just uh, run with all one prize attack. So, if you just get initiate the opening attack, you can also get a good matchup against those. The opponent uh, is just skipping the turn. So we are just gonna make it our very easy for ourselves. Target that boss wall as uh, we already predicted. So now we retreat. Go into the Dawn Wings. Rescue stretch. Do we even need that at this point? Not really. So here comes 
Dark Flash? Bam! So we only need to take one more KO. And that will probably be... We don't have any Guzmas left, so it could be kind of interesting to see how this develops. Probably gonna promote a Lily, but Lily cannot pack quite the punch. And if Lily has enough energies, we can one shot it with our Lily if we get enough energies in the discard. Hmm. Yeah, definitely don't attach to your Molomars. Unless you attach to all of them, so they don't they do, they are not stuck in the act. Nazball coming along. She doesn't have any access to B-strings or uh, whatsoever. That means we already got this game. Okay, Boswell GX coming along. Don't think that will help at all. A choice band. Brooklyn Hill. She just smacks down all of her cards. She still doesn't concede. I like. I like this girl. Still not conceding. Or is it a girl? I don't know. Looks like a girl. Long hair. And a switch. Okay. Rockruff, he's gonna corner us or whatever. Kinda strange. Why is Rockruff in the active position? She could have stalled with a lady for like one turn, but she doesn't know that we only run three Guzmas and they're all of all three of them are in the discard pile. Maybe I should make this list just with four Guzma instead of three and just scratch one Marshadow. Yeah. Sounds like a great plan. Ultra Ball, like a rock. Okay. She is gonna make us stuck in the active. Target the last Molomar. Do it. But we have invasion. Okay. Tapu Lele is stuck. Tapu Lele is stuck. Well, let's just fly into the active. There's not a lot we have to do here. Uh, this one deals 120, so one energy to the Lele should be sufficient. Rescue structure is not needed at all. Gonna leave those energies in the discard for now. Let's do 120. She's probably gonna retreat. Probably. Or if she uh, KOs my Dawn Wings, it doesn't even matter too much. We retreat with Lele, get a ton of energies attached to Deoxys, and that will be game. Or maybe we can rely on Black Ray. Maybe that could be fun. 100 on everything. That would be fantastic. Okay, Dangerous Rogue. Want to see the full potential of the deck, right? So. The best plan of action is just to put 100 on everything. Haha. <laughs> Nuzball. Krozma. Krozma in play. We can use Prismatic first or whatever. There's a lot of energies in the discard right now. I want to use Black Ray and see how it works online. I haven't used Black Ray at all since like a couple of months. So I want to see if it's still that sh uh, awesome spark on the TCG Online program. Bam. Retreat. Well played. And here we go with the Black Ray GX. 100 on everything. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that is awesome. 100 and everything is powerful. Okay, we're gonna go play another round. I, we're already at 23 minutes, so we're gonna have to hurry up because the camera will not last too long here. And now, uh, we, maybe we, we might snag that Jolton EX that is still in the versus ladder for like six hours. I wonder what the new versus ladder reset uh, will uh, reward you with. The crow is my GX Molomar. Come on, Zoroark, let's see that. Oh no, no. Everybody's playing Boswell. <sighs> Don't do that. Boswell is out. Malamar is the, be the, the best ever. Uh, we lost the coin flip. and this deck you don't want to lo lose the coin flip since you need an extra turn for your in case. And uh, with Boswell variants... Okay, we start even with a GX, so if it's a shrine version, we are gonna be, be wrecked. And it is... Is it another Boswell? It is another Boswell, okay. Everybody's trying out Boswell lists. We already checked out uh, Boswell McCargo like in a previous video, so this is the first place winning list that we're uh, playing with. And a uh, first turn Cynthia, and again, Beast Energy. Where do they get him? Where do they get him? Okay, first things first, let's get rid of an energy. That is always fantastic here. Uh, let's get an NK in play. Hey! 
friend ball is useless. So the best plan of action is relying on a good old Cynthia. Let's get an energy onto. Hmm. Maybe we can retreat with the skateboard. I don't want to get this at 90 damage on my face. Here comes Cynthia. Wow. Okay. Deoxys can prepare himself. Acrobike. Let's see what we get. Mimikyu or Chimeco. Chimeco is just against the uh, Pokemon with abilities. Boswell does does have an ability, so eh. Mimikyu it is. I'm not gonna use Mimikyu in this matchup, although Knuckle Impact would be fantastic. Another Acrobike. Ultra Ball. A lot of Ultra Balls. Okay. I can get live with that. Let's use Ultra Ball. We don't have an escape bar, otherwise we could have maybe done something with Mimikyu. Let's get rid of Mimikyu and an energy. So we can smack down. Our Lele is in here. Maybe we should Marshadow. Do we still have another Deoxys left? Yes. Do we still have Molomars left? Yes. Do we still have items left? Yes. Hmm. I wonder if we should wait and use Tapole or Marshadow in this situation. I'm just gonna wait one turn so we can evolve into uh a Molomar. I think that's a good plan of action. Don't think he can one shot anything out of our field, so let's go with that. Two in case. He's probably gonna want to rely on the Kuzma play. Ultra Ball. And that way he gets out his Tapu Lele. That means Friend Ball will work. Friend Ball can get activated, and uh, that's another card that can get out psychic types out of the deck. Okay, this can two-shot us, which is very, very scary. Cynthia? Okay, she's not going going after our NK. That is already a great thing. I love that. Brooklyn Hill. Rockruff, of course. 70 HP once. Energy and 90. Wow. Wow, that is very, very powerful. You have to admit that. 110. Oof. We have Lily. That is a, a nice thing to see. Let's smack this down. Smack that down. And get the Lily on board. Come on, a skateboard, where you at? Marshadow will not work, work at all in this matchup. So it's gonna use one psychic recharge on the Deoxys. Gonna get rid of our Marshadow here. We don't need it. Get another Malamar in play. Or Corio can also get an energy here. Maybe we should have used both on that and get out. Nah, wouldn't have worked anyhow. Rescue Stretcher can get out nothing that we want. Let's get rid of a Lily and a Rescue Stretcher. Oh, I don't want to get rid of Rescue Stretchers because I want my Necrozma, although everything can one-shot Psychic types. Consistency above everything. Let's see if uh, there's another Rescue Stretcher in there. Let's get our Marshadow, which we want. Nope, For, uh, there seems to be a Rescue Stretcher priced, okay? We're gonna have to play without Necrozma GX. Fortunately, let's get this Marshadow play going on. Ta-da! Come on, a skateboard. Hey, that's also a great card. Escape rope. Okay, psychic recharge. An energy here. We still have access to our Lele next turn, so that is at least comfortable to know. Escape rope. Who's gonna get some damage? Do we one shot the Diancy? He's probably gonna get his Lily on board, which is fine, which we can uh, pulverize later. Definitely not his Rockruff. Okay, Lily, has to be expected. Escape rope, maybe with two of those Molomars. We should have waited with the Molomars. Wait with the Molomars until the end. That is the suggestion of the day. That way we could have used that uh, Prismatic Burst and KO this Lily now that I think about it. Hmm. Well, he's probably gonna Guzma out regardless. And this guy is... 
going to be easy prey for later down in the game. Energy. Wow, he's getting energies to a lot of his Pokemon. Boswell swinging in hard. Hmm. Here comes the Oxus. We have a Lily. Hmm. Lily is great. Let's get a lot of things on board. We get an energy, that is fine. We're gonna get an Ultra Bug on our way as well. We don't need energies at this point. Let's get rid of those. What do we want? And Dawn Wings would be fantastic. Dawn Wings for next turn, Invasion, Dark Flash, whatever. Maybe another Deoxys. Or another Enke. Okay. Recharge. Yeah, this is a better uh, match than the last one. Here we go with a power blast. Bam! KO. Okay, now he's going to come in with a GX. And we're gonna stay with one prize attackers for now. Okay, another Molomar. Maybe we should have gotten out of Inge here. Well, at least we have another attack already, and we can just one-shot this Lele. Joy's banned. Lycan Rock will show up. He's probably gonna rely on a GX move. Unless he draw draws into his double carless energy. Some uh, lists run one double carless energy. Two Ultra Balls in his discard. Ooh, getting a Lycan Rock might not work this time. Unless... Okay, energy to the baby buzz. I love that. Retreat and baby buzz is going to smack some damage. Cool. Like a rock is going to target something like a Molomar. Okay, cool. That is a great board position. 50. Now we're just going to. <laughs> yeah, you can see. It. We would have targeted down that Lele, so we're going to uh, go to three prize cards. That man, Sledgehammer, wouldn't do anything. He's going to rely on GX cards. And hopefully, we're drawn to that rescue stretch. We've gotten that the crow's mouth. So, this list is legit. Daniel, a big uh, congratulations to you once again. So, as you see, the Oxus MVP, very great card. Molomar is one of the best decks in format, as you've seen. And uh, be sure to demolish the like button. Subscribe for more TCG content like this on a daily basis. And uh, yeah, have a nice day, guys. Thanks again for watching. Peace out. Oh,